awesome. We back again with another banger for you guys, but y'all already knew that. Today, we is reacting to part two of the fifth side of TikTok. I enjoy these videos, and you guys seem to enjoy it too. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get it. My husband and I decided to start a new aquarium. Okay. I really like this tank because it was super A little hexagon tall. look. Ellie's so excited, obviously. Look at the dog. First, we put plant substrate down, and then we put gravel on top of that. Okay, we smart. We really want our plants to be well-rooted. Very smart. We really love um, putting a lot of natural plants in there. Look at that dirty water. That took a while to filter out, by the way. Here are our plants all planted. Okay. Cute decor. That's a little homework the there. So set by Tetris. I got some of them. And then here they are swimming. We got five Tetris. We got this cute little Little couch. corridors. Okay. And we got a blue beta. We have another beta in here, but they're both females and they're babies. And that floating around is We right. went to the fish store today. Okay. You won't believe what we found. What y'all get? Brace yourselves. Roaches swimming with fish. Roaches swimming with fish. Fish not wanting to live anymore. Water's so dirty, I couldn't tell there was fish in there. Tanks that were just oh, no. filled with parasites and pests. Like and comment to help spread a We gotta stop yes, this. That's a spider web. What? Okay. Yeah, let's get something more positive going here. Okay, heater. Got some little almond leaves. Okay. So that's gonna be your substrate. Okay, I see that. That's pretty cool. I ain't never seen that done before. She boiled them first. Make sure y'all do that. Try to loosen some of the tannins out of it. But, you know, still gonna get tannins though. Nice little piece of wood. That's different. I never seen it done like that before. What's she gonna glue to it? What's that little Java firm she gluing to the wood? That's dope. Some more firms. That's a nice little better too. That was super nice. I'm cleaning up my mom's fish tank to surprise her for her birthday. Okay. I finally was able to put everything back in the fish tank, which was cool because I got to design it the way I wanted to design That's it. Some cool little break. Put the backdrop on. Sand type. I had to tape that up. Really secure it because I did not want that to fall. Right. And then I started hosing some water into the filter after putting on the filter because you got to help the filter filter. Right. <laughs> then I was having to put the light on. It, was kind of, it wasn't difficult. It's just that there's this like base to it that was kind of heavy that would pull it off of the fish tank. So I had to strap it around like the base. Okay. So I had to do a little DIY type. Tug on the light and yank it off. That's what it looks like with the light on. Nice. I'm not a fan of the, like the so artificial look, but this is nice. Super awesome, but I had to get fish that can all live together in peace and harmony. They wouldn't fight. Or Don't go buy would, like, fish from places like that. Game on each other. That's what the fish tank, what the fish look like. Last part, it's out now. Okay, I'm about to go check her out. Huh? We all live in a fish bowl, huh? They crazy for this. Sink with my brother. Okay. First, we have to add water in here, then the fish. That's your fish tank? Oh, I was going to say. Part two. My fish is some food. Okay, it cleaned up nice. Oh, that's not even the same one. I'm still. <laughs> Oh, you did. Rest in peace. 
Is there any water? Oh, okay, there's water in it. They bogus as hell. This is the stuff that people post on TikTok, y'all. Show me you don't support Petco or PetSmart without telling me you don't support Petco or PetSmart. All right, I'll go first. The reason why you can tell is because at my local fish store, sometimes they, they run pet out smart and, and pet cold. Only good like to buy tanks from. And I bought so many fish that day, I can't I even tell. A fly fell into my fish tank. A fly fell into the fish tank. Time to extract. <laughs> okay. Here is part one of six of cleaning my mom's fish tank and surprising her for her birthday. I know what you're thinking. Six parts. Right. Huh? I know, but her reaction is fantastic. So you But didn't we already see this in the beginning? Maybe this is another spin-off. I don't today. know why. I mean the fish tank It's gotta looks be a spin-off. Disgusting. So I took the filter off. Dang. Right, look at how look at how disgusting this filter was. Bro, touching it, I honestly did not want to touch it. And the fish it's tank not that so bad. terrible. That's well, just from when you pull all the stuff out, you're releasing me. all the bacteria, and that's what the three smell is. To do this. Not because it took three days, but I needed three days to do this. So I took everything <laughs> out, and then I had to <laughs> take the rocks out. I mean, did you see how dirty the rocks were? Oh, my God. I did, I did this with my bare, bare hands. hands. Like, you couldn't go that pick up love. nothing I out of the kitchen, you, nothing in the house. It took me a while, but, yeah. Oh my God, this you could have used that bowl so and scooped like, so a bunch of it out. Predator reef tank, and, well, mixed. It's complicated. Let me let me talk about it real quick. So the reason why it's mixed, right off rip, you can see my panther grouper. Nice. Along with my clownfish wing and my purple tang princess. Wouldn't he get so eaten? So normally, this is a horrible idea, but I right. think it's going to work for this reason. The clownfish has its anemone to defend itself. The tang's body shape is super weird and won't be able to be eaten for a long, long time. Right. And this panther grouper isn't actually too aggressive, although I do feed him live frequently. They it might work. I got tanks like that that but you would think shit would just being, get killed, but it doesn't. This is actually working out pretty, pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Pretty, pretty well. Until that grouper so gets bigger. Subscribe to my goes. channel for future updates on this tank. Unless they just become friends or something. Who knows? You never know. <laughs> that was nice. Tank, but today we're going to talk about tank maintenance. Okay. Because it's a lot different from what a lot of people seem to think. I like that. Now, this isn't applicable to every tank, bed. but I started by removing some What is that? Water lens, I believe. And then this is when you can go ahead and nice trim up any plants if you have a planted tank. When I do do planted tank setups, I actually just steal them from other tanks. But as you can see, there's still no pulling everything out of the tank and scrubbing everything down. What we are going to do is remove some algae. So I'm yeah. going to clean my I hate glass, algae on the front of the glass. That sucks, man. Stuff, Make your tank look way dirtier than it really is. The most important part this is going to be our water change. We're going to use a water siphon to remove water from the tank. And these guys are actually vacuuming my substrate, although I go back and forth on how necessary this really is, although it is really yeah. satisfying to watch. It depends on how dirty your tank really is. It's not really that necessary. Water change. But Next, just after you remove the water, you have to add it back. So you're going to pour back in dechlorinated water of the same temp. Or I'm using my Python water change system here. Okay. And we basically just have to let our tank fill back up. Pretty much. And then again, in my case, I had that big container of floating plants. So I went and added some back. And then I put some in other tanks. Nice. you got to restart your filter and your heater and all that stuff because you turn it off when you're Stop doing Stop using those type that of like uh, all the filter media. You have to do on tanks. I'll make a video on showing you all the filter media And it shouldn't be. The backbone of a healthy tank is a bacterial colony, and taking everything yes. out and scrubbing it would just be ruining that. Definitely. This is all you need to grow a tank, and while there's nothing inherently wrong with it, I Put just got to put it together. I'm and a so very good today. To do this, we're actually going to be removing all the fish first. I do so want to do like a, a, uh, a better like spray tank. tank. I think that'd be plants. super nice. And then I just scooped up all the fish and stuck them in their tub. That water is super tanned. And, and here is a bucket full of bettas. And this is their empty tank. Oof. Yeah. This is what it looked like after I scrubbed all the glass. I look like but chocolate as you milk. Can see, we just drain it down. And now we can start just setting up the new tanks. I'm going to be using a little bit of pool filter sand. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to be putting Not a very thin that, layer on the bottom. It, it and works that and it's is mostly cheap. because this is all I had. I'm not okay. really trying to plant a ton of plants or anything. It's just to make it look nice. So there we Fair go. Fair layer of sand. And now we're going to fill it up. And I'm going to be using my python for this. And of course, dechlorinate the water. I ended up planting some of that water spray that had been growing really crazy, and it kind of. I like water sprays. Nice. Now we're gonna grow for me, our but I like bettas. it. Once they're ready, we just scoop and stick them in the new tank. 
I like that look better. I don't really like the, the tannin look. That's just... I don't know. That looks better. I think it has a nice clean look to it, even though I still need to add some more tannins. Oh, she wants to tan it back in. So there we go. Grow it tank done. That's nice. Comment what fish y'all want to see in the tank, not exotic fish, because they could have add grow the tank. Yeah. Let me see. Let me get some, uh... What's that, like a 20, 29 gallon? Look like a 20, maybe a 20 gallon. Yeah, that's a 20 gallon. You can't really get much, bro. Get you one one nice fish or a bunch of different things. Ooh. Hit that like button right now if I should get a bass like this for my fish, bro. You are the best. OMG, I love you. Let it dance. Let it dance. Let it dance. Let it dance. Better addiction, huh? I still love you. JK, you think I might be a little crazy because I That's just nice. bought another tank. No, you you're definitely not crazy. You want to see my fish roll? Familiar. Where's the maroon clownfish? Well, I'm he's, crazy. Uh, he's gone, unfortunately. So let me explain. There's a few reasons why I bought this tank and sold my maroon clownfish. So if you guys want a full dedicated video to that, then let me know. I wanted to consolidate my aquariums, which was the plan when I sold my 66 gallon. I just, I just never did that. Right. I just wanted an aquarium that was large enough where I could play around with. So True. that's how we landed on that this like having big tanks, man. Innovative I had a 30 gallon innovative marine when I lived at my old house. And ever since I sold this tank, I've regretted it every day. It looks the nice. The quality on innovative marines is amazing. The silicone, the glass, it and the filtration nice. section. I want to do something like that up in here in the space. office. Like I wanted like a nice right, roof tank or something. This. By far the most aggressive fish I've ever owned. Let me introduce you to a mini murder machine named Mini Dirk. murder machine. If you look at his face, you can see the teeth if he settles down. But for now, he's pretty ferocious. He wants to eat. Look, he's ready That's to kill. That's beautiful, though. I like him. Ready to murder. I guess feed he's going to give us no choice but to feed the beast. For the time being, I feed him a blend of these Okiko pellets. Okay. Oh, oh. my God. He almost jumped out. He's going to lower the water level with him. Boom. Shoot. But he looks really, really good. Yeah, he does. Ooh. He's telling it. Ooh. Ooh. I like his little commentary. Overall, very cool little fish, though. Little savage. Little savage. That's super cool, man. I really enjoyed that video, man. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more content like this, give these videos a big like and leave some comments down below. What was y'all best part about this video? Because I kind of liked it all. I really like the flower horn. I like the bass. I like all the little beta tanks, too, because I really enjoy those. And... The tanks were, that, that, that one with the fish store was just all nasty and dirty. We got to do better than that, y'all. But that's my time. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I holla.